All right, Matthews, let's get this. So today I'm going to come back to a different uh, using Zoom here. And so you guys let me know how this format works uh, for you. All right. So I need your uh, I need your opinion. Right. So let's look at conducting the t test. And I want to make this short. All right. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Dr. Matt, and I'm here to make your life easier. All right. So is there a doctor in the house? A market research firm reported that the mean annual earnings of a family uh, practitioner in the United States was this amount, all right? So that's the overall average, right? That's what we know so far. So there's our population mean, right? A random sample, right? So we're only gonna take a, a very small sample here. 45 family practitioners in LA, right? Had a mean average of this number right here, all right, which was larger and had a standard deviation of 42 grand, all right? Sorry for, that's Toby. He gets all excited when I do this. So notice this standard deviation here comes from this sample of 45, right? And so because this standard deviation comes from this sample, this is our sample standard deviation. And that's very important because that's going to be the difference between you conducting a t-test versus you running a z-test. When they give you the population, so write this down, when they give you the population standard deviation, that's when you do the z-test, right? But for right here, because they give you the sample standard deviation, we're going to be conducting a t-test here. So that's a big difference. Uh, do the data provide sufficient evidence? Uh, to conclude that the mean salary of practitioners in LA differs. So I'm going to highlight that too from the national average. Uh, we're using a significance level, right? The level of significance of 0 0.01, that level of significance. So there's our alpha level, 0 0.01. And we're going to use a p value method, right? It's a very short method. And so when we're running through this, of course, we're going to assume that we have a simple random sample. And we want to make sure that our sample size is large enough. And when I say large enough, remember our rules, we want to make sure that n is greater than 30, which it is. Uh, but if it wasn't, then you would need to make sure that your distribution is approximately normal. It doesn't have to be exactly normal, but approximately normal. So lucky for us, our sample size is 45. So let's go ahead and let's run this t-test. So what we're gonna need to do first is we're gonna need to identify our null hypothesis and we're gonna have to identify our alternate hypothesis. So our null hypothesis, H naught, is gonna say, you know what? There is no difference in the mean earnings uh, between you know, the folks in the United States in general versus those in LA. So our null hypothesis is this down here. Let me annotate this, all right? So this is our null hypothesis. Maybe I should use a different color besides white. All right, so there's our null hypothesis. <clears throat> and remember I had you, let me scroll up real fast. I had you uh, underline the word differs. So we wanna show, is there a difference? So because it's diff, uh, we underline differs, that means that our alternate hypothesis says that our mean is not equal to 178. All right. And so this represents a two tailed test uh, for those of you that draw your normal distribution and your two tails. Right. But we're going to make this really short, really fast. And um, we're going to use the p value approach, which all we do is we grab that p value and you compare it to alpha. All right. So we said we're going to go to stat. If you're using um, one of our apps from our Androids and our iOS devices, uh, which is our Graphen Calc, and I made a video on that. And then, um, if you're using a calculator, we're using the TI 83, 84, or 84 plus. So the steps to get here is you go to Stat. When you go hit Stat, you go over to Test, and we're going to go down to where it says a T test. Now, this is where I see students making mistakes. Do I use data or do I use stats? Well, look what they give us. If I scroll up, they give us the statistics. They give us the X bar, the 
the sample mean and they give us the standard deviation from that sample. So they're giving us the stats. So that's why make sure you do not highlight data. If it were data, that means that they're giving you like the list of numbers. So make sure you have that down. All right. So we go ahead and we plug everything in. Make sure you highlight uh, the not equals to. So all I did is I entered in all the information, right? And so as you're reading this, uh, make sure you're keeping track, you're underlining, you're highlighting and identifying, okay, this is my standard deviation. This is S, uh, this is my X bar. Oh, they give me a sample of 45, that's my N. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping track when, the, when you have uh, these paragraphs, you're dissecting everything and you're keeping track of everything that you need, right? And so uh, we go ahead, we use our program. Uh, they didn't highlight it here, but make sure it's not equals to. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this P value right here. Let me go ahead and highlight that. And this is what we're gonna use to compare. And so what we see is we're gonna compare this to the 0 0.01. Right. So we're comparing this value to 0 0.01. And you could see that this p-value is greater than 0 0.01. All right. So some people are like, this guy had too many Red Bulls. No, no, this is how stats should get people, right? So p is greater than our alpha. So whenever p is greater than alpha, write this down. Whenever p is greater than alpha, you do not reject your H naught. We do not have enough evidence. Right. So write that down. You do not reject H naught. And that's when P, the P value is less than or equal to the significance level. All right. So when P is greater than alpha, then you re, uh, do not reject H naught. All right. So make sure you write that down. Let me clear this. And so when we state our conclusion, right, since we don't have enough evidence, uh, to reject this, right? That's not saying, you know, we're absolutely, that we're accepting it. We're just saying that there is not enough evidence to conclude the opposite, the alternate, which is saying that the mean salary for family practitioners in, the, in LA differs from the national average. So again, we don't have enough evidence to show this based on our, our study here. So that's how you do a t-test. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let us know what you want us to cover next. All right, athletes, have a good one. Peace.